There's going to be more straddling of in-person gatherings, but still an appropriate not readiness for that to scale. And so even if you're having something small that is in person, are there opportunities for you to add a virtual component to it? I think a lot of you probably saw some of the savings that virtual brought, right? That there's some major event costs like venues that are no longer um, needed. Or I know um, my brother, he works in visual audio, and he was talking about how the standards for video quality have significantly changed. You know, we're working in our kitchens, we have our pets running through our screens, and it turns out we all still have the same brains, even if we're showing up in a different physical space, and that we respect each other's brains, right? Because this is, this is the way and how we show up to work. So this, this is going to stay, we're going to continue to be virtual and to, to embrace that and to think about that as that was part of your strategy forced last year. And now it can be intentionally part of your strategy moving forward. And there can be the benefits from that of the engagement that you can have with this bigger community, like we can even have today, since it doesn't matter where you're calling in from, you could be awake in the middle of the night on the other side of the world and just wanting to learn.